There was a time in history where people of my kind could not read, could not write, could not even think for themselves. Today, that has changed and we now live in a country where opportunity is within reach. Yesterday, this very world that we live in produced results through large assembly lines of hard manual labor, long hours and physical sacrifice. Today, that has been rethought and reintegrated with networks, algorithms and automation. Karl Marx believed that the production of too many useful things would produce too many useless people. Was he correct? To be useless is to be a non-thinker, non-productive, one who's fully conscious but lacks effort or the intention to be effective. In 1997, I learned my very first computer programming language, and in time I learned multiple programming languages. I remember thinking in a stereotype way that computer programmers were great mathematicians. Though that may be the case for some, I have learned over time that you don't have to be a math genius to write code. You just need to be able to think. We now live in a culture where we're surrounded by technology. Take a look at the very room you're in right now. Every object you can define was created by a thinker. Thinkers have created transportation for you to commute in, music for you to hear, motivational speeches and teaching to help you, a light bulb for the dark and a power switch for the light, complex mechanical pumps to replace a bad heart, an operational procedure to save a life, and that very own technology you're using right now to watch this video, it was created by thinkers. Thomas Edison once said that 5% of people think, 10% of people think they think, and the other 85% of people rather die than think. Do you want to be a thinker? Learn to code. <laughs> Learn to think.